This tank is part of our onboard hot water system. We prefer to store hot water for later usage than having to run an engine or an appliance in order to heat water. This tank holds 1.6 gallons of water that's heated by the engine. The reason why this tank has not been buried or concealed underneath the vehicle or inside an engine compartment is that if you have a problem with this system, you need to be able to have quick, easy access to it. So as you can see, all of the hoses and systems that make this work are easily accessible for inspection while you're out on the road, including keeping track of simple little things like the drain key. This particular stainless steel tank has a whole series of lines and safety controls on it. Coolant coming from the engine enters into the storage tank and passes through a stainless steel heat exchange coil and then exits out and back to the engine and to the radiator. Fresh water comes from the fresh water tank in the vehicle into the heat exchange tank and then back out to the shower blender. Cold water has been diverted off of this line and up into the blender. So we have cold water and hot water coming into this blender which then can be adjusted outside for the desired temperature. Directly below me, below this upper platform, sits the onboard 17 gallon water tank. The 17 gallon water tank is fed from the outside through a fill valve and then it goes to an electric pump. The electric pump is a pressure sensing pump so that when you depress your nozzle on your shower head it senses the drop in pressure and activates the pump. That pump feeds water out of the tank and through a Dalton water purifying filter. That water purifying filter is capable of, of turning stream water into potable water up to a thousand gallons before the filter fails. And when the filter fails, it stops pumping. A thousand gallons is a lot of water. On this side sits the National Luna Power Pack, which houses a Group 31 105 amp battery. To translate what that means to us, that 105 amp battery will allow us to pull in, park, and stay in a spot for up to 48 hours operating our fridge freezer and all of our lights and running a computer period. Right. The National Luna Power Pack is housed down below me here in this box. The Power Pack has outlets, a charge indicator, a master fuse circuit breaker. It protects everything in the system. The National Luna Power Pack receives its power from the vehicle alternator. This vehicle has been outfitted with a 140 amp high output alternator. That enables the starting battery and the, what we call the house battery, the battery that operates the house functions in the habitat, to recharge very rapidly. This vehicle system was designed to support two people for 10 days in an off-highway environment, pursuing outdoor recreational activities such as hiking, photography, and fishing. It does it well in a very compact format. These are the types of systems that are available from AT.